I just wanted to jump on here and say this is going to be the most scattered video you've watched. Um, I kind of was in the midst of filming two videos, um, one to get my new KZ and then the other to do the AKC. So I kind of combined them together because I just forget to film and lose motivation. But hopefully this is a start. I know it's not going to be the best quality, but stick by me and I'll try produce better <laughs> in the future. Let's get into it. Hey guys, at this current point, I'm uh, giving it its first clean. Just got it off the previous owner and I'm just gonna give it a bath. I discovered there's a hole in the top of the fuel tank. Um, so I'll have to go buy a new fuel tank and or I can get a plastic welder, but more air might get through it when it's sucking. So, yeah, let's clean it up. Oof. Just give it a bit of a once-over kind of thing. Sprayables, getting it kind of fresh. See, I'm just trying to clean up the metal a bit and should be good. I don't know what day this is. I think it's day three. Not even day three, but it's only taken me half a minute to put everything together. Um, I'll run through it. But I've got engine all on. It's not strapped in yet. Just fitted up the airbox, made sure the mount's all slick. Um, don't look at that mess. Put it on the fuel tank. Need a new, bigger fuel tank right there. Um, just need a new axle key and a new radiator hose. Mine doesn't make it all the way, unfortunately. But apart from that, She's plug and play and um, ready to go. Sweet. Smile. <laughs>
Before I jump into the races, um, I didn't get every race. Heat one I finished, and heat two and three I DNF'd um, due to mechanical clutch cable. So it was quite a terrible Saturday, and these are the highlights from Sunday, which actually improved quite a lot. Um, I will also work out which way I'm taking, if I'm taking it horizontal or vertical, whichever way, just so we don't have that transition. So I'm sorry about that, but. Jump to the highlights and yeah. <laughs> So this is the red flag restart, as you can tell just a bit hectic, um, there were so many crashes at the start before we got a red flag, so the track was a mess, um, but just jumping straight back into it, unfortunately the guys in front of our train held us up for the rest of the pack, but I had quite decent pace in this race, which I'm really happy about, um, I've never really showed good pace in the KZ for but I'm still learning a lot as you, like as you can see just a late move there to try start making moves and um, get through the field so I've, this is the best race I've kind of ever done um, as I said I'm still learning heaps and just thanks to everyone that gave me tips over the weekend I'm constantly learning and yeah gonna attack round five with a better attitude so I think these couple competitors just had a few issues. Um, usually Taylor and Front's lightning quick and I've never been this close, but yeah, able to make a move and start getting up the road towards the people in front of me. So I, as I said, happy with my pace in this race, um, which made it really positive going into the final.
this is just the pre-grid for our KZ races. And like, I'm just setting my tire pressures there and um, yeah, just trying to get myself in a good mental state. Fortunately, my engine was leaking a little bit of oil. So that instantly threw my head off about, yeah, whether the engine was going to hold on, but just trying my best to relax and think about the race ahead, long 25 laps. Um, which I've never done before around my home track. Usually I do around 14, so 14 is, yeah, hard enough as it is. The way we went, I've got such a bad start. I need to work on my starts. Um, but yeah, straight in the action, we're all really tight pack here. And I'm just behind the number eight. Um, unfortunately, I get stuck a bit in his pace and you'll see that the field slowly start getting away in each of my cuts. Um, I had the speed, I just didn't make a desperate enough move to get around him. Um, I kept making mistakes, which then kind of made us like a yo-yo. I'd catch right back up, make a mistake, let that gap away. And if I had a chance to make a move, I didn't. You'll see a couple of times here, I had to look up the inside in which I just need to make those moves and get up the road and within the fight. So lesson learned there, but once I got around him, I had superb pace and I could, couldn't complain at all. Um, I knew 25 laps was going to be an absolute struggle and it was honestly one of the hardest things I've ever done. So enjoy this near move. <laughs> Um, enjoy the rest of my highlights and we'll finish up at the end. I couldn't pull my hand. I'm like, let go, try to steer. This is so that wraps up the first <laughs> most scattered vlog probably ever, but I had to put something out to just, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Um, I'm glad I threw something together. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Please support me, like, comment, subscribe. I can do more how-tos and setups. Not like setups, but you know, like how to put a KZ engine on or, um, cause that's obviously the class I do. So the more, you know, people watch, the more I can do race days, um, AKCs, you name it, I'll start doing it. So. Thanks for watching guys and catch you on the next one.